Hello, and welcome back to a world of ice and fire mod. My name is Dennis Snow, and this is my story. Last time, we conquered all of Dragonstone's fiefs, leaving them a landless nation with whom we're still technically at war. I believe the time has come for me to attack the north. House Targaryen is bound no um House Targaryen is bound to a truce not to attack the north. However, the truth is no truce is no longer binding to the north and it will expire in 20 days. This message has been here for at least 50 days. So I'm going to attack them. And I will do my best to take the north. House Targaryen is technically only at war with the landless Dragonstone. But there are risks of war. With the veil. And the free folk. But I'm not really concerned about the widelings. In any case, I'm going to attack Sir Marlin Manderley before I uh, take Bainfort Castle. Surrender a die. <coughs> Charge them. There's my dire wolf. I intend to push the Boltons out of the north. We have a thousand men. We can afford to lose some cavalry. No, 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 no. Push through there. I should hold my archers back a bit. Just in case. Spearmen are actually quite good. Full back. You 
will charge when I tell you to charge. <laughs> On charge. Owns a few castles, so you're my prisoner now. Next, I'll move on Bain Fort. Negotiating surrenders makes this much easier than in my previous playthrough. Bale household guards are actually pretty good. Share the loot. I decide to collect a large amount of food before I go north. <laughs> Fort Sarsfield gets the golden tooth. Good for him. Anyway, let's go to the Bane Fort. Closer. Siege the castle. Let's talk to the castle commander. Surrender. Give my word you're not coming under attack if you leave the fort. And there we go. Now I've brought almost 500 men with me. I am going to throw my um, many of my soldiers inside. Rather than rely on a patrol, I hope I can do that anyway. I don't particularly want Bane Fort for myself, but we'll see what happens. Conquer, but forbid plundering. I want no reward. Estegarian has declared war on the north. I can't put soldiers inside unless I think I claim it for myself. Unfortunate. I'll uh, go to Lannisport, I suppose, and um, send some soldiers this way. Anyway, I'll, uh, let's see how much people hate me for what I just did. <laughs> Green Nairs loses 20 relation. That was to be expected. Many other rulers have lost some relation with me as well. But many of them already hate me for uh, my unprovoked wars. <laughs> but that's fine. Jon Snow likes me well enough. <laughs> I've been very useful to the Night's Watch. 
Anyway, I'll cut away here and come back in a moment. See you then. Alright, I'm back. Well, after last time, I actually went down to Castamere, which I happen to own. Uh, took some men from my party, put it in a patrol and sent it up to Bainfort uh, to reinforce the garrison there. Now, we, now that we're officially at war with the north, I'm going to attack Moat Kaelin. <clears throat> After that, I think I'm going to march into the um, east, take the eastern part of the north, and then uh, go west. I might even go up the middle, taking Sirwin, Winterfell, High Point. Eh, we'll see how it goes. First, we're taking Moat Kaelin. I've created... Um, sellsword captain patrols and instructed them to follow me. I have two of them, each of which has 800 men. I had another one that was 500, which I've taken into my party so that I can use it to reinforce Moat Kaelin rather than having to go to a bunch of patrols I've created around Greywater Watch. I'll have to request Moat Kaelin for myself, but that's fine. Siege it. Let's talk to the castle commander. Surrender, your situation's hopeless. You have my word, you'll not come under attack if you leave the fort. And we get some more soldiers. Anyway, I'll cut away and come back in just a moment. See you then. Alright, I've collected them all. Conquer but forbid plundering. Quest Mort Mort Kaelin be awarded to me. I'll throw some soldiers in the garrison here. And continue on my way. I'm going to throw a few expensive ones inside. Mort Kaelin's kind of a castle I can get to on my way north. If, the, if it is granted to me and I can replace the high end so the highly expensive soldiers with less expensive ones. Anyway, I'll cut away here and come back a bit later. See you then. Alright, I'm back. Well, I've met Lord Andrew Locke just outside White Harbour. He was attempting to go inside, but my um, skirmishers managed to catch him. And I followed soon after. Old castle. Let's talk in private for a moment. I see, you don't trust me well enough. I understand. Surrender or die, Lord Andrew. I have 4,000 men. Probably a little more, actually. Everyone follow me. Might as well be a little cautious. a bit of lag here, probably with all the soldiers on the field. I also fought a small band of, um, well actually two small bands of uh, enemies. Uh, one was a group of looter, uh, a group of thieves, and one was uh, just some hill tribesmen.
hope they didn't kill my dire wolf. Archers can charge now. for my allies and we've won the skirmish party right there don't want to forget it all right you return to me and we will besiege white harbor let's talk to the castle commander Surrender. Do you give your word of honour that you will be well treated? If I were, you'll not come under attack if you leave the fort. Then we leave the fort to you. We may have won this day, but we'll meet again. Yes, I'm sure we will. I'm going to conquer the north quite quickly. Anyway, I'll cut away here and come back a bit later. See you then. All right, I just got a message after garrisoning White Harbour. The Westerlands is no more. Now that White Harbour's taken, I've left a little over 200 inside. I plan to leave roughly 150 inside of uh, the castles. 200 to 300 inside of the uh, towns. Anyway, on to Old Castle. Come across a whore and her bastard child. Eh, give them some money to help them on their way. There. Close enough. Besiege the castle. Talk to the castle commander. Surrender. Give my word you'll not come under attack if you leave the fort. Alright, I'll take these and then garrison the fortress. Anyway, I'll cut away here and uh, come back a bit later. See you then. Alright, I'm back. Well, not long after taking Old Castle, Greywater Watch came under siege. I sent two lords to reinforce the garrison there, whilst I am leading the rest of the army to Ramsgate. I think I have enough men around me that I can probably negotiate the surrender. Talk to the castle commander. Surrender. You have my word you'll not come under attack if you leave the fort. And there we go. Anyway, I'll cut away here and come back a bit later. See you then. All right, I am back. Well, I've moved up to Hornwood. Greywater Watch is still under siege, but that's fine. I will besiege the castle. Lord Hellas Hornwood really hates me. Let's talk to the castle commander. 
Surrender. Give my word you'll not come under attack if you leave the fort. And we get a few more prisoners. I also uh, took um, one of my sailsword captain patrols into my party. So there's that. Conquer the castle but forbid plundering. Request to be rewarded to me. Manage the garrison. Alright. Well, I'll cut away after I throw on 150 and uh, come back to you at the next castle. See you in a moment. Alright, I'm back. Well, it seems I'm going to have to um, loot the Dread Fort. Plunder the Dread Fort somewhat. Uh, I only have above average in morale. I attempted to chase down a small bandit party, but they got away from me and killed my um, or killed or captured my spies that I sent after them. So into the dread fort we go. Let's besiege it. Talk to the castle commander. Surrender. Give my word, you'll not come under attack if you leave the fort. And I suppose we'll have to plunder it. Hopefully, um, we do not crash. Conquer and plunder the castle. Brienne of Tarth looks upset. Well, let her be upset. If she doesn't have the stomach for plunder, I'll send her off somewhere. Basically, just killing unarmed civilians. Timber and wood aren't worth much up in the north. some butter. Award it to me, I suppose. Well, that increased the morale a bit. Give them the northern archers. Don't really need them. And the 
northern pittance. There we go. As my army size gets lower, um, the penalty for leaving the settlement unplundered is much lower, I find. I suppose I'll go to Blackpool next. Anyway, I'll... Fall back in line, Lady Brienne. <laughs> now then. Greywater Watch is under attack. Hard homes attacked by the Night's Watch. Fist of the First Men's under attack by the Free Folk. here I'll take the venison and I'll trade some of this grain for cheese Very good. Food is more important than um, plunder. We have some good times. Things might change around. There you go. Lay siege to Blackpool. Siege. Talk to the castle commander. Surrender. Give my word you'll not come under attack if you leave the fort. Alright, well, I'll uh, cut away here and come back in just a moment. See you then. Alright, I'm back. I managed to find a rather slow party of northern clansmen laden down with prisoners and I cornered them over here and defeated them which increased my party's morale. Now I'm going to attack Carhold and I suppose sell my prisoners to the night uh, then take Last Hearth. From there I think I'll go south to High Point, Winterfell, Sirwin and then take the western fiefs of the um Northern Lords. Anyway, to Carhold. Let's talk to the Castle Commander. Surrender. Give my word, it will not come under attack if you leave the fort. Then we leave the fort to you. You may have won this day, but we meet again. It would be interesting if the garrison formed a party and actually left the fortress. Now, obviously, you couldn't attack them because you gave your word, but perhaps one of your other soldiers could attack them. 
And after they create their own party, what would they do? Would they become a patrol? Would they go to another castle and reinforce its garrison? Forcing you to fight a much... Requiring you to fight an actual battle later down the road. That would be interesting. They do have a lot of prisoners here. In Carhold. Westerlanders, wildlings, bandits. <laughs> Though I suppose Carhold's not far from uh, the wall, so they'd be fighting wildlings quite a bit. <laughs> Conquer the castle, but forbid plundering. Quest card hold for myself. Anyway, I'll cut away here. Alright. Well, the Night's Watch is attacking hard home. The Wildlings have taken the fist of the First Men. Greywater Watch is still under attack. And I'm about to take Last Hearth. Considering my... Um, morale I may just um I may plunder last hearth all right the army's assembled Siege the castle. Just up to the castle commander. Surrender. Give my word you'll not come under attack if you leave the fort. I'll take all these. And uh, cut away here and come back in just a moment. See you then. Alright, I'm back. I suppose I'll conquer and plunder Last Hearth. I could use the food anyway. No throwing rocks. Everyone dismount. And it's done. The castle's been plundered. I'll go sell all this at Castle Black. it. I won't necessarily get it. Okay, what shall I leave here? A lot of poachers, I suppose. A few northern archers. A few riverlands archers. Some trackers.
Grand Ranger. <laughs> Peasants. There we go. That should do it. I might not, I might even go up to the Frostfang camp. Get some things there. And I'll leave. Well, this seems like a good place to end off the video. I'll go up to Casa Black, the Frostfang camp, collect some more soldiers, then march south. After that I'll hit High Point, Winterfell, Sirwin, then I'll move west and take Golden, Goldgrass, Barrowton, the Rills, Torren Square, Deepwood Mott and finally Bar Isle. Eh, maybe the Shadow Tower as well. Or perhaps the Wildlings will take it. Doesn't matter to me. Greywater Watch is still under attack. Must be quite a battle there. Perhaps I'll send someone south. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. See you then.